بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو اینڈ ویلکم ٹو ڈاکٹر ثاقب خان سائنس اکیڈمی ان ٹو ڈیز ٹوریئل وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دی آئی سی ففٹی ویلیو ہوپ فلی یو وڈ انڈرسٹینڈ واٹ از آئی سی ففٹی ویلیو پرائر ٹو گوئنگ پرائر گوئنگ ٹو دس ٹیٹوریل آئی سی ففٹی از بیسیکلی ہاف میکسیمل انہیبیٹری کانسنٹریشن اٹ از بیسیکلی ڈٹرمنٹ فار اے سبسٹینس آر فار اے ڈرگ ان وچ اٹ کین انہیبٹ دی ففٹی پرسینٹ biological process of 50% of inhibition it shows a 50% inhibition so in this data you can see what this state you can see this data in this data we use a plant extract which is we used a plant extract whose concentration was up to 500 from 15 up to 500 we use this concentration to check whether it inhibit how much inhibition occur the inhibition of that plant extract is shown by three replicates r1 r2 and r3 okay the recommended thing the recommended one is to do the replication so if there is there is any error experimental error or any kind of error so you can remove that error so these are the three replicates and these are this is the person inhibition now we will determine this ic50 value or 50% maximal inhibitory concentration using graph pad so we will copy this data and open the graph pad so on the graph pad we will enter the data and we as we have three replicates so we will select the three replicates if there was single y value then we would have selected this one but we as we have three replicates so we will select this one if you have a single y value or single inhibition response then you will select this value otherwise if you have replicates you can enter the number of replicates for example if there are two replicates three replicates four five so you can enter those so we will create this one and after creating we will just copy the data from excel and paste it over here so we already pasted it over pasted it over here this is our concentration concentration in micro liter so we will select micro my sorry micromolar the concentration is micromolar and this is our R1. This is our R2. Replicate one, replicate two, and replicate three. Or three of our plant extract. This is our plant extract. Today I am. I will only discuss one plant extract. with three replicates in another video shortly we will discuss about different plant ex extract and how to uh, how to analyze them so over here we have these values the concentration is from 0 to up to 500 okay at 0 there is as there was no activity so all of this is zero and at different concentration it show the, our plant ex extract shows this type of inhibition this much percent of inhibition plant extract inhibition or inhibition in percentage okay. so this is the percentage so now what we will do we will just analyze this thing using non linear regression okay we will analyze this with non linear regression and we will select the dose response inhibition those response inhibition and in those those response inhibition there are different uh, parameters log inhibitor versus response log inhibitor versus response but we, as we have inhibitor concentration so we will select this one log inhibitor concentration versus response and we will select this as we will okay now in this table this will generate a table in this table we have ic50 value okay we have ic50 value of 
IC50 value 82.18. The main thing for uh, to take from this graph is the IC50 value and the standard deviation or SYX. Standard deviation of YX is 2.28. Now look at our graph. If you see the graph, the nonlinear graph of this data, then this graph is okay. So I will select okay. So I will increase the graph size by 200% of the same for this just right click on the graph and select that graph. This is our um, data 1 over here we can write the IC50 value IC50 is equal to 82.18 and what was the let's see our sorry let's see our table over here you can see the table and our uh, standard deviation was 2.23 so we can write over here that our standard deviation is 2.23 you will insert you just insert a symbol Mathematical symbol plus minus sign choose and 2. Point, I will assume 2.23. Okay, so this is our response. Now you can play with this graph, you can change the color of these. You just go to the change color from here. You can select different colors or you can select different schemes okay so this is my you you can play with the axis x axis and y axis you can increase the points or you can decrease the points on x and y axis so over here i'll i'll change this it is taking a bit of time i'll changing the x axis and uncheck the automatically determine the range and interval uncheck this one and major interval is let's see it is 100 and minor intervals are 10 so i'll make minor interval as 5 click apply and the same is for y axis i think for y axis it is 100 percent so I'll select OK for Y axis as well. OK. So this is our IC50 values. You can also write down the R square value 0 0.9902. So I'll also write the R square value over here. Just go to the text write the text r square is equal to 0 0.9928 i think it was like this you can increase the size you can check for example it is 20 and the text i'll change later you can increase or decrease the size the R scale this is the square one so I will select the square and now select on control A and change it into the font style whatever you want so I, I selected the Let's say it is inhibition. Okay. For y axis, I'll also select the minor axis as five minor axis, just like in just like the x axis. I'll select the 
5 axis over here 5 points on the y axis also so okay, you can add lines to this You can increase or decrease the size as you wish. So this is uh, our graph. You can copy this graph and paste it wherever you want. Copy the graph and paste it in the Word file or in in your thesis or uh, wherever you want. You can change the concentration over here. Okay. So this is how we calculated the IC50 value. This is the nonlinear fit. From here you get the IC50 value and then the R square value and the SYX or standard deviation plus minus 2.23. So you can see over here the standard deviation is already given with the uh, with the values, whatever standard deviation is over here with each value. As we have three replicate, so the standard deviation for each replicate is given. Most of the time, the reviewer they ask for the standard deviation, so it is recommended to do the replicates whenever you are doing your uh, experiment. So do it in replicates. It will not only reduce the error, but later on, if when you are publishing the results, so you will you will get uh, good response from your reviewer. Thank you. Hopefully, now you understand how to calculate the IC50 value. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I would like to see your comment if you got some information from here. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.